Hello everybody. Today we're going to be talking about gooey, icky, slimy sunscreen and one possible way to avoid it. So as you can tell from the introduction, I'm not a huge fan of applying sunscreen, even though I do consider it a necessity when you're going out riding your bike. Lately, we've gone through a couple of different sunscreens. Let me explain some of what we've been doing lately. Uh, we, this is the original sunscreen we were using, Equate. It's fairly, it's a Walmart brand sunscreen. And someone pointed out uh, the website EWG. It stands for uh, Environmental Working Group. It's an activist group, a controversial activist group. Some uh, places say that it's reactionary. Anyway, you can take whatever sunscreen you're using and look it up on the EWG.org website and they will give you a rating of what they think is good or bad about your sunscreen. So the EWG website did not think much of our Equate sunscreen and they are not too fond of what they call chemical sunscreens like this, which work by absorbing into your skin and uh, theoretically that is a bad thing, chemicals absorbing into your skin, although it's debated and it is controversial. Anyway, on their website, they are much more into the mineral sunscreens like this, two peas. This is a sunscreen that they highly recommend, so we purchased this to try it out. The mineral sunscreen, which is mostly zinc oxide, is a much thicker and gooier compound and much more difficult to apply than the uh, chemical sunscreen. When you put it on, you, you can see I mean, this stuff kind of gets everywhere and you really have to rub it for a while and, and move it around. Otherwise, I mean, you will kind of look like you have a white pallor on you no matter how much of this you rub on it. The uh, thing, main thing I really don't like about it is that uh, it's very difficult to get off. I have to, when you take a shower, you have to like take three showers just to get this stuff off of you. So I'm not too thrilled with having to use this stuff. I've done it twice so far, but putting this stuff on your arms and legs, oh my God, it takes forever to get it off. So Joe and I wanted to try and find some other solution to this conundrum of sunscreen. So what we did is we ordered some sun sleeves and some sun leggings to avoid the sunscreen. So here are my Castelli leggings that we just got in the mail. I ordered some white ones. Joe ordered some black. What? Are you? We were just interrupted by Joe laughing because he said I had a big blotch of this this uh, mineral sunscreen on my face. So I'm gonna. They say if you rub it long enough, it, it goes in. So I'm gonna try and rub this a little more to see if I can look less like bozo pre-show here. Is that going away, Joe? It's a lot better than it was. It's well, it doesn't, I mean, it's this stuff is oh, it's goop. Anyway, that is why we're going to try the sleeves and the legs to see if we can avoid the sunscreen. Anyway, these are my Castelli leggings. I got them in white. Joe went with the black Castelli, so we're going to even be seeing if there's a, a temperature difference between the black and the white legs. Joe went with some black. Castelli arms. I ordered some Lacole white arms. They haven't arrived yet. They're coming, I guess, all the way from England. So we may have to uh, go without my arms tomorrow. And I don't know if I'm going to have the the wherewithal to go with the, the uh, mineral stuff. I may just go with the chemical sunscreen on my arms tomorrow. Anyway, wow, this stuff is goop. Anyway, we will see you tomorrow when we pick up this experiment wearing our sleeves and our arms. All right, so it's the next day and we're out ready to start a metric century to test these sleeves. I've got my stylish black sleeves on. I've got the arms and the legs. And let's show you what Rich has. His, his arms never showed up and he went for the white, which I mean, yeah. in my opinion, that's like an epic style fail, <laughs> but uh, he's gonna be cooler. Those white uh, legs and the, the white sleeves when they show up will be cooler. Yeah, and I went for the mineral sunscreen on my face. I tried to go a little lighter, but um, you can probably still see the white. I'm not cap. really seeing, just a, just a little bit up on the side. Yeah, but and I bad. went for the, uh, the uh, chemical sunscreen on my arms because it, it took so long to get it off my arms last time. So this time all I have to do is worry about my face. All right, 
You ready to go? Ready to go. Let's do it. Let's check this stuff out. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention what we're riding today. If that has it has no bearing on this video, but let's check it out anyway. Okay. Rich went old school. He's got his old. What's the date on that Mossy? It's an '86, built by Joe Stark. 1986 Mossy, built by Joe Stark in California. Yeah. All right, and I've got my, you know, not old school, but really now old school because it has a horizontal top tube, uh, Serata Legend High. All right, let's go. All right, so we're 49 minutes into the ride and already I'm not too thrilled with these things. My arms are getting clammy and sweaty. My legs are getting clammy and sweaty. What about you with the white ones, Rich? Yeah, it's the same thing. It's, you really kind of, when you ride in the winter and you're all bundled up and then spring comes and you can take all that stuff off and you just ride with a little skin showing, it's a, a really freeing feeling. You lose that free feeling with these things. It feels like you're bundled up for the winter again. And I am, my legs are getting sweaty, so. Yeah, let me, you know, we never said exactly what these things are. They're not arm warmers and leg warmers. These are specifically supposed to be extra light sun blocks for the summer. Yeah, so. uh, yeah, uh, and uh, I mean, uh, apparently they're working. Yeah, they're blocking the sun. They're just so far, I'm not too thrilled. We'll check in again later. Maybe you get used to it. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll talk to you in a little bit. How you doing?
about halfway through the ride and it's really starting to warm up. It's supposed to be in the high 90s today and it's, it's what, maybe low 90s now? Yeah, it feels about right. So these things are really going to get a workout towards the end of the day. They're not, not uh, getting as sweaty now. Maybe it's because it's warmer and the sweat's just drying. Yeah, up. before in the beginning of the ride we were doing a lot of climbing. So you're moving slowly, putting out a lot of energy. Now we're moving a lot faster so it seems to be uh, wicking the sweat away better. Yeah, and I'm just kind of getting used to them being on there. So Yeah. Maybe they're not that bad after all. Yep. Let's keep going and find out. Okay. One thing I wanted to mention about putting the mineral sunscreen on your face is that when I put the chemical sunscreen on my face, after a while of riding, my, uh, the nose after sweating and that sunscreen, my nose would get slick and my glasses would keep falling down all the time. Now the mineral sunscreen is much goopier and my glasses seem to stay on my face much better. So that's one positive for the mineral sunscreen. It's like glue holding your glasses yeah, on your face. It's like glued on my nose. <laughs> and speaking of glue on your skin, something I just read on the internet, the heavy mineral sunscreen may prevent proper perspiration during strenuous exercise. Something important to consider. And while I'm here, something to report, at the end of the ride, the rubber bands on my leggings gave me a pretty nasty burn around my thighs. Now Joe had the exact same leggings and he didn't have that problem at all. So for some reason those bands were moving on my legs. I'm going to have to try and see if I can figure out what caused that. Well, that's the end of the ride, and uh, I don't know, these things are kind of growing on me. They didn't seem that bad, they didn't seem that hot. I thought for sure once it really warmed up, and it has really warmed up out here, that I would be cooking like a Christmas goose. But I'm still pretty cool with these, even you know, with the black, it's not bad. Yeah, I don't know, I, I don't really feel a lot of sweat or anything building up on my legs, so I think everything's doing pretty good. Yeah, so I think as an alternative to uh, sunscreen on your arms and legs, I think these work. Yeah. Too bad they don't have one you can shove over your face. They probably do. <laughs> I can see your eyes sticking out. Do the world a favor. <laughs> Cover up your face. One thing I wanted to do that I didn't do at the beginning of the video is let you guys know that the EWG organization is funded by the organic food industry. So that's something to keep in mind also. So it may be why they're touting the organic sunscreen, but I mean, organics pretty much got to be better for you and I and even the dermatologist suggests this mineral sunscreen yeah so I think even if I wear these things on my arms and my legs I'll try and stay with the mineral even though it makes you look like a two-week-old corpse yeah, yeah. okay oh, well, face. yeah we got a helicopter ahead it's I think they finally found us there they are better get going yep <laughs> There's no rest time. for us. Yeah, <laughs> see you next time, folks. Okay, yeah, you guys, you guys have a good uh, week, and we will see you next time. Bye, bye.